everyone, it's Di here from Di's Den and today I would like to show you how to make this card. It's called a pinwheel card. It's because it looks like a, you know, those pinwheel things that go round and round to keep you cool. So this is the card I made for my colour creation blog and in um, Blackberry Bliss. So I'm going to make another one. Everything I'm using today is actually retired, so, and I'm also making an open sideways one, not a, a top fold. So let me show you what you, we're going to be using for this project, and then we can get on with it. So I'm going to be using this old set, this is called Birthday Blooms, and I just, just because I wanted the words, I wanted to send a card to my friend in the UK, and... So I've put dear friend and I'm going to put happiest of birthdays to you and I'm going to use this flower here. Excuse the noise down here. That's my little blow heater. It is freezing here today. So I'm really not looking forward to the rest of the winter. It's been so cold and wet. So and I'm going to be using um, some paper from the hydrangea paper um, because I still had some left and I just thought it would look really pretty so let me tell you what we're going to need so we're going to need a card blank and this measures five and seven eighths by eight and a quarter and then for my front panel I'm going to use a piece that measures five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and then a designer series paper piece which I think is gorgeous that measures five and three eighths by three and five eighths then for my next panel on the front, I'm going to use a piece that measures four and, uh, three and one quarter by three and one quarter. And then another piece that measures three by three. And I'll need two pieces of two by two for the, for the pinwheel for the front. This is my tag that I'm going to put down here. And these piece measures, oh, I've got centimetres showing here. Let me see. This measures two and a half by one. So... It's two and a half by one, so that means this one is two and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. For my insert, my piece measures five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. So let's get stuck in. Let's pop all those out of the way. And we're going to start by bringing in our scoreboard. And we're going to just score our main card on the long side at the uh, four and one eighth mark to turn my thing over and that is really all the scoring we're going to do so let's pop that out of the way and we're going to just give this a nice fold and burnish and that's ready to go okay what a beautiful i love this color so anyway anyway let's get on with this so for the front of my card I have my two panels here and I'm going to just glue these together. So both sides of this paper is just so gorgeous. But I thought I would use the nice hydrangeas showing on the front. Once I have popped that onto the front of there, I'm now going to pop this onto the front of my card, like so. Let's lay that back, it's just easier for me to do. Okay, so that's the front of our card. Just about ready. That's how easy and quick this card is. It's really a very easy card to do. So let's do our little bit of stamping. And then we can get on with everything. Construction. Our thing. So I'm going to be using Gorgeous Grape for my dear friend. Excuse if my head's in the way. There we 
we go, that's done. And then for my other piece, I'm going to use the Gorgeous Grape. Oh gosh, I've got that on there really straight, haven't I? That's really going to help. There we go, a bit better. And this one just says, happiest of birthdays to you. And then I'm going to, in the memento, I'm going to just stamp my flower. Down in this bottom corner. Like so. So now I'm just going to use my blender pens. So I've got my blenders. I've got old olive and I have Highland Heather because these colours in this are gorgeous grape and Highland Heather. So I'm going to do my leaves and stem. Just doing my stem in the light. With my leaves I'm going to do parts of them in the dark and parts of them in the light and then blend them over the top of one another. There we go, that's that. And then for my other one I'm going to use the dark Highland Heather for the centre here. And I'm just sweeping it out and where these marks are here just like so. And then with my light one I'm just going to go over the whole lot. And once it dries it will actually look very pretty. There we go, that's how my flower done. That's how easy that one was to do. So that can sit on the side and just dry for a moment while we do the rest of our card. So for the rest of our card, what we're going to do is we're going to actually take this piece of the 3x3 three three and we're going to fold it, depending on which side you want. I think it would look too busy with this side showing, so I'm going to have this to contrast it. So I'm going to fold this in half. Now the reason I'm folding it is it just makes it easier to line everything up and you will not see these fold lines at all. So they're really great for that. So we've got our fold lines on there like so and now we're going to just glue that onto our other piece of card here. I think I need to put some more glue in my glue thing again. Let's just pop the lid on that because of it being cold it will actually freeze over believe it or not. And we're going to pop that onto the front piece of this piece like so. Now we're going to pop that on one side and we're going to work on our pinwheel which believe it or not this makes our pinwheel. These two pieces of two inch by two inches. And we're going to bring in our cutting um, trimmer or you can use a pair of scissors if you wish. I prefer to use my trimmer um, only because I find it easier. So I'm going to pop this in corner to corner as you can see there and I'm just going to cut that down the middle like so. Oops and I'm going to do that with both pieces. So make sure you've got them nice and right in the there, right in the gap. And that's all the slicing we're going to do with our trimmer. Now what we need to do is work out which side we want to have facing out. Now the side that we want facing out will determine what it looks like. So we are going to have our coloured side out. So we're going to turn it this way and oh, the 
bit rough on that edge and I'll just put a new blade in there so what we're going to do is we're going to pop all our pieces down like so only because it's easier to know which way around you want so you want this long side this cut edge on your right hand side and we're going to use some glue dots so I've got my glue dots here and we're going to pop a glue dot on the corner of each one of these over here. Just in the corner like so. Oops, come off. By doing this as we go, we know we've got them all the same way. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this and we're going to just, with our thumb, we're going to just give it a bit of a squeeze across and we're going to bring it across like so. So we're going to just give this so that it rolls a little bit and bring it across over onto the glue dot. Oops, that was a bit off that one. Let's pull that bit off. Oh, come on. There we go. That's better. So, give it a little bit, so just, just so that it curls a little bit, and then bring that across over on top of the glue dot. And again, over on top of the glue dot. So we've got four pieces now and they're all facing the same way. So what we're going to do next is we're going to pop these onto our piece of card, like so. So we probably should have had them the other way around, I think. But there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop some glue along this edge here this long edge now and this short edge and we're going to then butt it up against the long edge into that corner and then onto the next one down the bottom here like so you'll find you've probably got a little bit glue up the top so if you have just pop it off or you can actually once you know where it's going to go you can go right we'll pop the glue along this side here and then along this bottom edge here so and we're going to butt that up against that line that we scored on our paper and up against the two like so just use my little tool to get in there just to make sure it's down nice and tight and so we just keep on going around in the same manner right the way around butting it up to the last one and along that score line that we put in there and the last lucky last one along here We have our pinwheel look. How does that look? It's amazing how quick and easy that has come together. So, once we've done that, we can now pop this onto the front of our card, like so. And we're going to do that with some dimensions. So, I have some now. I have ordered them and they've arrived so that's fantastic so. oops that one didn't come off I'm going to pop this into the middle of our card like so and we're going to then glue our saying onto 
to the front. So our dear friend. Onto our piece here. Just pop that out of the way for a minute because I'll need that again. And a couple of dimensions onto the back of this. And pop that onto the front of our card. Let's put our insert in. Now I can put a lid on my glue. side of our card done now it's just a matter of finishing off so I have some of these these are actually from the noble peacock so I'm going to use one of these large ones here in the middle here and a couple of the smaller ones on my sentiment and I'm thinking I might put a bit of ribbon on here, but I'm not sure. No, maybe not. I'll, I'll do a bow and see what it looks like, and if not, we can always not use it. So let's make our bow. Whoops, come on, get through there. Over the top. So let's see, does it, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that one out of the middle there and I'm going to put that down somewhere else. So let's get rid of that one for a minute and I'm going to put my bow in the middle here. So if you've got any imperfections in your middle piece, Get off my finger and get into the middle of the card. <laughs> you could even put your bow in the middle here to cover up your imperfections. There we go, look at that, that looks fantastic. Just cut these down a bit because these are a bit too long. Cut that on an angle there. And we need one more, or a couple more. Oops, that went on the floor because the bin blew it away. <laughs> Let's pull these in and we'll pop a few more of these little ones on here. So we'll pop one here, here, and maybe there. Wow, what do you think? I think it's gorgeous. And it looks fantastic even with the bow in the middle there to finish it off. What a lovely card. And it's just so easy to make. I hope you've enjoyed this. This was my original one. And I think I like this one better. So that's my two cards. That's my pinwheel card. And I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't been to my site before, please subscribe find that down the bottom there so that you don't miss out on any more videos if you'd like the written tutorial for this card head over to dies den for stamping crafting and tutorials in the facebook group you'll find the link down below here as well so i will see you again next week bye for now